let's do something different. Um, I am going to unbox this envelope of seeds that I ordered for the season ahead. So I can't even remember exactly what I ordered. Um, maybe that's bad, uh, but I think it's good for this video. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I uh, live in Charlotte, North Carolina, so I am gardening in zone 7B, 8A. And fall and spring are my favorite times to garden in. So, without further ado, let's see what I chose. So, I ordered these from Baker Creek Rareseeds.com. This, this video is not sponsored by them. I just really love them. Um, I love heirloom plants and all plants, but these are all heirlooms. And so, oh yes, it's coming back to me now. Okay. So yes, this is one of my favorite companies to order from. I also really love Botanical Interests. Um, Johnny's Seeds for more bulk ordering, things like cover crops, um, and then that's the short list. <laughs> okay, so lots of flowers, a few fall favorite edibles. All right. Oh, there's a little thank you note. Haven't seen that before, but that's sweet. The person who packed my order. Thank you, Joseph. Okay. Okay. So why don't I just um, start with edibles and then I will move on to the florals, which is the bulk of the package, of course. Um, so I ordered the cardoon, which is so fun. It's like an artichoke, it's in the family, um, but it's actually much larger and can tolerate um, a little less sun than the artichoke can. So I will be growing this this year. Um, yeah, I could add more to that, but I'll stop there because this video might end up being really long. Swiss chard, I love Swiss chard. It's so versatile, um, it's great in fall or spring it's great year-round um, it can tolerate heat it can tolerate cold um, it's just really great in soups in salads I know some people love to hate Swiss chard but I love it and it's so beautiful in the landscape even if you don't eat it kohlrabi kohlrabi is so good um, what's great about kohlrabi is to me it has like a mild turnip flavor um, another great thing about it is that you can see the giant bulb above the soil, so you don't have to wonder, like, how big is this plant gonna be? You can actually see, um, how big it's getting, and you can decide when you're ready to harvest it, young or mature. Um, but I love this starchy vegetable. I love using it in my mashed potato recipes or just roasting it and eating it along with dinner. I could say so many things about all of these. Um, and I might accidentally do that. Uh, this was a little freebie they sent. This is a Japanese wasabi radish. I have not grown this yet, but I do love radishes and they're such a quick crop that, um, that makes it fun for everybody. So they like to throw those in. I think when you purchase three packets of seeds or more, they'll just throw in a random packet of seed and that's always a nice surprise. Okay, so on to the flowers. These are flowers that I've grown before that I grow year after year. In um, I usually plant them in the fall and sometimes I'll plant another succession in the spring or late winter. So alphabetically, I have bachelor's buttons. This is the fireworks mix. So I, I love this one because I love all the different colors and I often sell edible flowers like these to local bakers, and these are great to throw in the mix. Um, there's also a great 
local mobile bar who orders flowers for me from time to time. And um, so shout out to Wheatberry Cakes and Libations Mobile Bar. Those are great. Oh, also I have a really good chimichurri recipe that I use these in. And I'll have to share that in a future uh, newsletter. Okay, next up is Columbine. Um, I've never grown this particular variety, but it's a perennial here for me and it grows great in shade. This color is so gorgeous. I can't wait to um, see it in my landscape. I love sneaking this into the landscape since it's a perennial and it's shade tolerant. Um, it's really great to just fill in the gaps here and there and it's so pretty in a floral arrangement. So that one's called Leprechaun Gold. I am a sucker for anything not quite purple, not quite blue, but in between. That's probably my favorite color. Um, okay, next we have four different poppy varieties. Poppies are another favorite. Um, they just, I mean, look at them. They don't even seem real. They're like tissue paper. And the fact that this bursts out of a, a little quarter sized pod is amazing. Um, it's just like such a greeting when I walk down into the yard, a, the difference in a day and just walking out and seeing this open is so lovely. And then lastly, this one, Amazing Gray, which is a really popular one among flower farmers and so I'm so excited to grow these these poppies and then lastly tall deluxe snapdragon blend this is one that I come back to over and over again I try different snapdragons but I'll always grow this one this one is a nice mix of oranges, yellows, reds. Um, yeah, it's really beautiful and always keeps an arrangement looking um, interesting with its spiky plume. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I chose. Uh, that is the bulk of what I'll be growing over winter um, along with a cover crop of winter rye and maybe some tall clover, we'll see. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're growing. If you're growing any of these, um, any questions you have, please comment and like and share.